Hello guys, good morning. It's 4 a.m. Today, we're going to Charan Canyon. It is basically like Grand Canyon of Kazakhstan. So, I've been super excited to see this. We're waking up early because I believe it's like a two hour drive or something. We want to get there to see the sunrise and get some beautiful footage. Magnum up there. We're gonna get some groceries and just to have some food for the journey. The Magnum here, which is like uh, one of the biggest grocery stores, they actually work 24 hours, which is super cool because, hey, 24 hours, if you need something, I don't know, in Canada, I'm not used to seeing like a big supermarket or grocery store that's open 24 hours. So this is something different, something cool, but it's convenient. So we're probably gonna be picking up some of these things, some baked goods. These are perfect for the road. You can see behind me here, the fruits and vegetables are all out. Bananas, apples, everything's out here. And it's four in the morning. Definitely gonna have to pick up some water for the road. This is what we got for the road for breakfast and for later, some water, yogurt thing, apples, tangerines, tomatoes, and some baked goods. And we're off to Charon Canyon. See you soon. We've been driving for about 15 minutes and it smelled like smoke. There was a big fire here or something or someone tested a bomb. So we're somewhere in Kazakhstan, I'm not sure where. Basically, it's like a desert area, it's very cool. We went from like nice, lush, green farm, trees, mountain views, to then like desert. So many different landscapes here, gorgeous. Right here is where the archeologists found the battle site where the Jungars were fighting with the Kazakhs a long time ago in this area close to the Charon Canyon. We have arrived to the sign of Charon Canyon. Look at this thing. super windy out here the tickets cost 800 tenge each which is about less than two dollars us Ta -da! and this place is awesome this is my first canyon that i've ever visited i've never been to the one in the united states we don't know what to expect we're just exploring right now we might run into snakes i would love to see some surrey cats or meerkats this is one of their homes right here in this hole and I wouldn't mind seeing a snake as long as it's not close to me and it doesn't bite me. It's an eagle. Is that an eagle? Yeah, eagle, eagle. It's an eagle. We found an eagle. I just saw a Surrey cat going back in its hole. This is the Surrey cat's house. here in the canyons you gotta be careful there's probably snakes and scorpions here and we're gonna be walking this direction look at my people down there just wanted to run up one of these hills it is so nice up here everybody needs to come and see this place it's amazing forget the grand canyon in the states come to kazakhstan and do chair and canyon baby Okay guys, so we're out here exploring, taking photos. Look at this amazing stuff. I'm trying to get some cool photos of these layers here. 
There's a lot of things that you can do creatively in these canyons. Like behind me, it's non-stop, beautiful views. It's pretty slippery in here, guys. So, like the rocks are old, so they just fall right off like this. So when you grab onto something, this is not like rock climbing because it's not sturdy. You have to be really careful. Look at this, the sun's coming out. The wind is going away. We're doing some discovering over here, guys. Some archeology span stuff. Looking for some fossils and some old stuff and trying not to fall if we can. It's pretty slippery in here. But we're literally inside the rocks, guys. Cow bones here. I don't know what animal ate this up or maybe it just dried up, but there's cow bones right there. So this canyon runs 154 kilometers in length, I believe. But to the public, there's only four kilometers that the, uh, like for tourism, but there's actually a lot more than that. Wood right here that they use for the flavor when they burn the wood and they cook the meat on the fire on a stick and they use that wood for a special taste and it is delicious another thing is I've been warned that you have to be careful because there are black widow spiders out here as well so in the bushes and stuff like that and I'm wearing shorts I'm not gonna be walking in the bushes or taking that risk To my auntie Natalie, if you're watching, this is the third time I'm calling you out in my videos. I'm surrounded by like really old fossils and I see all kinds of stuff going on like stones and I saw this one particular stone here. This is pretty cool. It's like a, a burgundy color stone and this is what you're interested in. I hope one day you make it out here and explore this. Definitely worth it. See, look, I just went to grab on this piece and this came right off. So you can't really grab on rocks for support. You just have to really be smart in here. It's not for beginners. That came out of nowhere. So I have a question because I don't know and I'm really curious. Are these old canyons just like the bottoms of oceans millions of years ago? Or are they just like this? What's the story behind these canyons? Because to me, it looks like bottoms of oceans. Even these plants like this, they look like they could have been seaweed a long time ago or corals, even how the rocks look. I could just imagine that this would be what the bottom of an ocean would look like. The sun is coming out, it's getting hot. But there's always a nice fresh breeze coming through this valley. I feel like I'm on another planet. A rock could actually just fall out of nowhere. And a lot of these rocks are actually, have been tipped over already because they're lying down and they used to be straight. Okay, we've just arrived to uh, kind of like a rapids and 
This right here reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It's a cowboy movie. It's a classic film. And at one point, they're running away from uh, the law and they're sitting on top of one of these big rocks and they decide to make a jump to save themselves. They take a big risk of killing themselves, obviously, because they could land on a rock and die. That's just really good energy. It's cool to see that a stream is running through a canyon. Super nice. It's refreshing as well, just looking at it, because they're basically in the desert, right? So to see water is special. But I will go touch the water, though. It's actually freezing, a little bit muddy as well. So we just saw our friend Gulzat. She's a tour guide out here in Kazakhstan, in the Almaty region. And that was a big surprise. It was uh, pretty cool to see her <laughs> in Charon Canyon, just like that. So yeah, good job Gulzat. I think we're gonna take a little lunch break. We're gonna stop here, eat something before we continue on. Okay guys, so we're taking a little nap break. We're just relaxing for a bit. We're gonna go walk around later, try to catch the sunset so we can catch some nice photos. But you know who we have here, look who it is. We call her a sleeper, she can sleep anywhere. She's fully asleep, guys. So when she wakes up, I'll show her the video and show her how she sleeps. For now, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Okay guys, we just finished lunch break. Just wanna check out these rapids here. The sign over there that says you can sleep here, if you bring your tent. There's actually a beach here, there's sand. Sand, beach, in Charon Canyon. Did you ever expect this in Kazakhstan? This rock behind me is formed like a snake head. This is like the, the face of the snake, and this is like the bottom. It looks like it's popping out of the ground here, which is pretty cool. end of the hike we're almost back to the car I'm just gonna say peace from now bye bye thank you for joining me thanks for watching I appreciate you all my global citizens I hope you're interested hope you learned something I hope you saw something cool I think this place is definitely one of the coolest places on earth so I'm happy to share it with you see you next time peace <laughs>